Good day. This is just a quick review of the Certina DS Action 38mm Power Matic 80. So it's been a long time since I posted. I still have a lot of new watches. And then I suddenly uh, started buying sneakers. I wanted to wear, to review all of them. Um, like the new cash shows, the 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 round thing, and uh, so a few G shocks. Uh, but I hope we're gonna have time later. For now, this is gonna be a review of the Certina DS Action um, twenty uh, thirty eight millimeters. I opted for this one rather than the bigger brother, I think, which is a 43 millimeters. Because, uh, well, for one, we all have a lot of big watches already. So, as you may know, Certina is, a, is part of the Swatch Group. Uh, back then, it used to sponsor the BMW the BMW team for F1 when there was a BMW team team I just bought this uh, today at the Swiss Gear Trinoma Mall I have been eyeing this piece since around the uh, early part of 2023 but instead of buying this particular uh, piece I go I went for the this OPRX automatic and today we had a chance to go back to Swiss gear Trinoma and I took the opportunity to get this one actually there are only very few stocks left um, before there was a I saw a green 38 millimeter stuff and then a blue and this one uh, but I chose this colorway in if you'll go back to I don't know if you can still catch uh, the other colors if you go back maybe they will replenish their stocks or whatever but one thing's for sure the big ones the big cousins or the brothers are there including the 2020 i'm not sure if this is the 2020 is if this is the which model is this but there was an older one which is the green minute the uh, green second hand and then the updated one which already has the silver minute hand a uh, second hand and then this um, model 38 millimeters it's quite small, cute to the hands, as you saw earlier. I have a 6.5 millimeter wrist. Let's look at the dial. By the way, the case is fully brushed. Fully brushed case. The Certina logo, DS, on the crown right there. Uh, double security DS this is my second Certina watch by the way the first is a chronograph way back 2010 I still have that model um, it's powered by an ETA G10 like this one which is already powered by um powermatic 80 which is the same movement used in my prx and as far as i'm concerned the rest of the middle range um uh mid range watch from the swatch group so this is the back 
sorry I put tape on it so that it won't get scratched. Uh, because if you'll see my the back of my other DS action DS uh, action chronograph, you would see that it's full of scratches. But this one, I intend to preserve it. Not like the one that I had. That I have. Okay, fully brushed case. It has a nice, uh, also fully brushed stainless steel uh, bracelet. I removed two micro links, just like this one. Does it, by the way, it doesn't have a diver extension, or does it? Oh, it does. It is a diver extension in that press clasp. Uh, anyway, but this one is milled. The one right here, the main clasp. See the Certina branding over there? The sea turtle is the symbol of Certina for representing its double security. Stop as the shell, stuff as the shell of a turtle. Crazy, huh? Uh, and then, so this is the watch. Loom is, you know, if you're used to the irregular Seiko or Citizen or your your Chinese um, San Martin and other new Chinese um, uh, watch watches you'll see that the loom here is really underwhelming even compared to my Oris this is underwhelming just like the old one that I have it's uh, it's a bit better than than the old one, but uh, still, when you compare it to the loom of a Seiko or a Citizen, this is really quite underwhelming. But I'm sure you'll really not use it for for diving. This is more the sizes for form calls for it to be used in a formal location or a casual office um, wear. How can I describe the those hands? In my opinion, if those were bigger, just like in the forty-three version, I really don't like it. But here, I think I like it here because it makes it more legible. But on the forty-three millimeter version, that pointed certina, our hand is uh, a bit too big or misplaced for me for the big version but here it's just fine all the indices are applied silver and then there's uh it's painted with the loom uh the loom is uh it's bgw it's blue Light blue. Unlike its bigger cause, uh, brother, it has an aluminum bezel. <sighs> don't mind. I don't mind. I have lots of uh, ceramic bezel. And I really don't uh, mind having an aluminum bezel. I think it adds more to the vintage appeal. The the markings are silver because of the aluminum uh, material. Since I removed only two micro adjustment links, which is I think what three millimeter, two millimeters, three millimeters. 
And I think this this watch will fit only up to seven uh, millimeter wrist. Seven or seven and a half. Or uh, inch per inch. Six to seven inch. Making me feel that I think it was originally made for girls, for women. Anyway, so this is the watch. Let me wear it for the last time. Get on my 6.5 interest. Thank you, and I hope to see each other soon in my other reviews. Gosh, I really had bought a lot of watch already since the, the last um, uh, long review that I did. And now I'm shifting towards uh, kicks or sneakers. So I hope we'll have a lot of time for me to post again. Thank you.